Hey, man, let's talk about DeMarco Murray winning. As he's coming to Oklahoma, he's doing some things. All right. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Jay here with Unfair Sports, where we take a pensive approach to the sports conversation. And here in this video, we're going to talk about DeMarco Murray's winning. A couple of players have signed. Uh, a couple of players have recommitted themselves to the team after all the chaos. And I want to talk about how this chaos has helped him a lot. <laughs> so at the end of the 2019 season in college football, there was a movement where people were calling for Lincoln Riley in, in Oklahoma to bring back DeMarco Murray. He was the running back coach for Arizona at the time under Kevin Sumlin and everybody wanted him back, which makes sense. Uh, former running back, NFL offensive player of the year, you know, he has a, a rushing title. He's someone that you would want to have on staff to have conversations with other running backs and recruits who want to be players in the NFL. And so that movement led to January of 2020, DeMarco Murray getting hired on staff. Now, when that happened, got lucky enough, we were in COVID. So that Rona kind of slowed things down, couldn't really go out and about with recruits and everything. And his 2021 class did not really produce the fruits of the labor. Like he didn't get any running backs to come in. Now they did get a transfer out of Eric Gray. Uh, Kennedy Brooks had opted out of 2020. So when he came back in 2021, he had something, but a lot of people were kind of questioning what value DeMarco Murray really brought in. And I kind of want to talk about that because it feels like he brought in more value than expected coming now into 2022 in the midst of all the chaos. So when Lincoln Riley announced that he was bouncing and heading to USC, some recruits follow. Raleigh Brown, uh, Malachi Nelson. So you were starting to think that a lot of the players, especially going west, the Las Vegas area, Colorado, California, were going to start gravitating with him. And it looked like that wasn't the case. Wide receiver DeAndre Moore, who comes to Oklahoma in the 2023 class, recommitted itself like right afterwards, like November 27th. He's just like, hey, I'm with DeMarco Murray. I'm sticking to Oklahoma. And that's when you started to see the work and foundation he was laying down. Now, him and Kel Gundy, as well as Bob Stoops, kind of helped try to right the ship and stabilize things. But there were a few recruits that decided they wanted to say, I'm here because of DeMarco Murray. So for example, you got Gavin Salchuk, who recently signed with Oklahoma. Monsters running back out of Colorado. Came here because of DeMarco Murray. Offensive ta tackle Jake Taylor out of Las Vegas, where DeMarco Murray is from, also has committed himself to Oklahoma. Now, DeMarco Murray's story of getting to Oklahoma is probably one of the most inter interesting ones in the world. Uh, we'll have to talk about that another time. But it's good to see that he's starting to see fruits from some of his labor, some of his conversations. People are starting to commit. And now he recently got a commitment on the 2nd of January from Javante Barnes. Barnes, four-star running back out of uh, Desert Pine, Las Vegas. So another Las Vegas player in which DeMarco Murray is from is coming in six foot nine, 190. Running back, sizey, versatile. Looks like he could probably put in some more girth once he gets to college, but he announced that he's coming. And that's a big deal for someone who didn't really win anything during the pandemic. Like, though I've seen some people out there calling for his head uh, because he hadn't been able to land anyone truly elite in, in people's eyes. And an article that was written over at Sooner Scoop, part of the uh, OU Rivals uh, by Bob uh, Prisbillo, did a really good article talking about in detail how these players were gravitating to DeMarco Murray and they appreciated him constantly recruiting him, staying in touch. And they felt like he was one of the best people to be underneath. Go check out. I'll put the link in the description for you to check out. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit like subscribe. If you like everything, please share with any other fans of college football, football in general, or sports in general, as we go a wide swath between that and Oklahoma football. But I think the quotes are really big to me on why DeMarco Murray made a difference. Like, so for example, 
Javante Barnes said, I feel like he was recruiting me the hardest out of every coach. You want that one coach who is going to push you as hard as he can. He never, not one time, had backed away from me. He's applying that pressure. One of those recruiters that apply the pressure, the proper amount of pressure that players appreciate. And he's not even just going after running backs. Like I mentioned, Jake Taylor, he was a part of that recruiting process. DeAndre Moore, the wide receiver out of California, he was a part of that process, getting Gavin and then Javante Barnes. DeMarco is showing his true value as a running back coach now. And he hasn't even been there but two years. He had to deal with the global pandemic. So I want to give kudos to DeMarco Murray for what he's doing. I feel like you all should keep track and pay attention to what he's bringing in and what he's bringing to the table. Kennedy Brooks talked about how much he raved about him as a coach. And I think running backs, other running backs, as they're coming in, they're going to show that, say, yeah, I appreciate the exact same things coming from DeMarco. So shout out to Coach Murray. Love the winning that you're doing. Let's see if these players that you bring in can be developed from those four-star ratings into five stars and continue the dominant force that Oklahoma has produced at the running back position. Check us out. We'll have our podcast launching um, tomorrow. See that in the description as well. Hit the like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you can know when I drop another video about Oklahoma football or football in general. Chop it up with John in a few days. Peace.